Father Eugene wanted to keep bees uh, and had kept them before he lost them to the mites some years ago and was trying to catch the swarm like I had mentioned. And so my first encounter with the bees was helping him catch the swarm that was outside the abbot's window. So he told me, he promised me when we begun that I wouldn't get stung. And I was just in a, uh, a baseball shirt and a pair of blue jeans. And he was um, holding, the, had me hold the box for him to dump the bees inside. And he was sawing the limb and he said, here, lean the box closer. And I thought that I was going to hand him the box and he started shaking the limb and the bees dropped into the box and all over my arms and I was scared to death um, of the bees. But I, I didn't get stung. When they're swarming, they're actually very docile and he knew that. And I just had to trust Father Eugene that when he said I wouldn't get stung, um, he was keeping his word. And so that's how I got started was just being his helper and the number of hives have grown and what started out just being a way to spend time with a, a very good monk and a, a very wise monk has turned into a, a fun hobby for the both of us. We'll extract the honey and we'll give it mostly to uh, family and friends, uh, friends of the monastery as Christmas gifts and birthday gifts and things. Um, the monks will actually eat a good amount of it ourselves uh, over the course of the year. Diabetics can digest honey better than natural sugar, than raw sugars. So I'll make root beer out of the honey so that the diabetics can, uh, can drink the root beer. And then a little bit of it will be offered for sale in our gift case. Now we're there. Up with honey to fly away. Okay. And when they're full of honey, they can't sting. Unfortunately, not all of them fill up. <laughs> Some of you, some of them will give you a right to your money. Right, right the, um, the guards are always on.